somebody that had a big influence on my life was Jeremy Vickers. He was youth group leader when I first started at Ingedean Anglican back when I was in year 11. He lived close by and he was able to give me lifts uh, to church and to youth group. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get there. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be around. But most importantly, he took Bible study very seriously. And it was clear that he knew God's word really well. Uh, and that was kind of new to me. He was a really smart guy. Uh, and he really kind of encouraged me to take God's word seriously as well. And I really got stuck into in those years reading God's Word and getting to know it as well as possible. And, and I, I wanted to I kind of pass on that knowledge to a whole bunch of new kind of guys growing up uh, in youth group, mainly uh, because of Jeremy's influence. One of the biggest influences on me as a teenager growing up in terms of discipleship um, was Scott Rimble. Um, he discipled me as a young man. He was my youth group leader. And as we um, became older in our teens, um, he taught us the word, and that was incredibly valuable. He led us through Bible studies, um, he preached at youth group, uh, but one of the biggest things, and, and equally as important, is that he lived the word out. And so we had um, a leader and a man who discipled us, um, who understood the word and taught the word, but also showed us what it was like to be a Christian and to live the gospel out. And part of that was that we got to see him um, living at home with his parents. He'd often invite us over. We got to see him um, get married to Megan and um, what life was like um, living uh, in Sutherland, I think it was. And, um, and then eventually um, to see him have kids and we've been able to go on that journey with him. And that's something that's continued um, over, the, over the years as well. Keno has been around a fair bit in the last few years of my life, and I guess you could say he's deliberately discipled me. Uh, this is how it usually goes. We get coffee, we talk for a while, we read the Bible together, and we always pray before we split. Uh, the two things I've found most impacting uh, are his humble honesty and how he listens to me like he needs to know what I have to say. Uh, the impact this has had on me, uh, that I've learnt that it's good to be vulnerable with people who are trustworthy. I've seen what good listening is and how great it is to have mates who listen. I don't look up to John Piper or Matt Chandler or Martin Luther in the same way that I used to. No doubt because I have a genuine mate to look up to in Keno. Thanks so much, mate. So one of the biggest influences on me as just a bloke growing up, going through school in year 12, is just uh, big old Scotty Williams, um, CEO of Scal and my leader in Anchor Youth. Uh, so ever since I came to youth, uh, year eight, we've shared plenty of great experiences together from uh, all the skateboarding to jumping off cliffs at Watermala. Um, but you know, amongst all those great experiences is just his keen desire just to get alongside us and build relationships with us um, based around our, um, our faith. And if we had any questions or doubts, we can talk things through. And the fact that he's always there for us, if we've got any problems or any, any issues, we can just talk things through and discuss them together. And so, you know, that's just not with me, but with all the boys um, at youth. Um, and just, yeah, so that's a great thing about Scott and uh, how he's discipled me.